boys and girls, it is Miss Angela and we are on day 52 of Drawing Together at Home. I got a little crazy hat on today, my little sombrero. I've got my little friend here with me today even because it is the 5th of May and that means it is Cinco de Mayo, meaning the 5th of May. Now Cinco de Mayo is a Mexican holiday but it's celebrated in the United States really big. So I thought we'd go ahead and celebrate it today ourselves. Now I'm going to move the camera down a little bit so you can see my little friend here. He even sang. What do you think? He's fun, but I'm going to turn him off because he's going to like steal the show if I don't. Okay, now we are going to draw something because a lot of Mexican food is very hot, so they put chili peppers in it. So we are going to draw a chili pepper today for fun. Now I'm going to show you what they are. Whoopsie. We're gonna, these are chili peppers. So this is what we're going to draw, a chili pepper like this. And they're very, very hot if you eat them. I don't know if you have, sometimes you have salsa and there's um, these peppers in them and they're very, very hot. So let's go ahead and let's start drawing. So grab your paper and your pencil and your crayons, your markers, your colored pencils, and let's get started. Now, let's go ahead and make the shape of our chili pepper first. Remember, it's kind of a long shape like I just showed you. So we're going to start here. Oops, let's get this marker so it makes a thicker line. And we're going to come down, but we're going to make a little scoot out. Oh, see it? And then come back up just like this. So can you do that shape? It's kind of big and round, and then it goes kind of like off to the side. It's a chili pepper. So I want to show you one more time. This is kind of the shape we're doing. See how, it's, see how it kind of curves? So that's what we're doing today is a little chili pepper. So try to make this shape. If it's not exactly the shape, that's okay because chili peppers draw, um, grow in all different shapes. So let's go ahead and put the top on it, the little part that grows on the stem. Now I'm going to put a little point in the top of his head, just like that. Then I'm going to make almost like a little tiny hat on the top, like that. And then we'll go ahead and make the long stem. And that's the part that connects to the, to the bush so he can grow, or the plant so he can grow. I don't think it's a bush. Um, okay, now let's go ahead and give him eyes. We're going to have just little happy eyes today. We're going to do like little, little lines, just like that. Not, not big eyes at all today. He's going to be just happy and dancing to that, to this music right here. We'll give him a couple little eyebrows and we're going to make him a little thicker. See, he already looks pretty happy. Now we're going to give this guy some cheeks, big round cheeks, and we're putting them kind of out underneath the eyes a little bit. See? Look how cute he's looking. And then we're going to give him a big smile. Now we've got the beginnings of our chili pepper. Now we want to give him some arms because we want him to be like he's dancing. He's having a great time, just like I was just dancing, like this. Now we're going to put something in his hands called maracas. Now I'm going to show you what they are. If we shake them, they're like almost like a baby rattle, but they're not really a baby rattle. But see how colorful and bright they are? They're really fun and they make that shaking sound. And so when people um, dance, they can use these and make extra noise. <laughs> I love it. So let's go ahead and draw some maracas in his hand. Now we're going to make his arms really skinny and we're going to go up. Oops, I'm not getting this marker very fast. We're going to go up like this and we'll make another side to his arm. So he's going to have this arm up in the air and maybe this one won't be as high. One will be high and one will be a little bit lower. So we'll make this one a little bit lower. There we go, now we've got his arms. So we're gonna put some hands on him, but we don't even have to draw the hands because he's gonna be holding on to the maracas. So we're gonna do a thumb. A thumb is gonna be like a big egg shape, just like that. And then we're gonna put three fingers, just like this, holding right together. And that's gonna, that's all you have to draw of his hand. You don't have to draw the whole big part of his hand because he's kind of holding around the stem of this. Now let's go ahead and go up here and make the big shaker part. You can even put a little part there. And let's do the same thing over there. Make the thumb, and then we'll make the fingers. Three fingers right next to each other. He probably has more, he should have four fingers, but this guy's only got three. And then we're gonna go ahead and make our other maraca up here. Wow, he looks like he is having a good time. We're gonna add some, you can add any kind of designs on here you want. I mean, when we did Taco Tuesday, remember we did the hat and we did something just like this. We kind of made all the designs on it, whatever way you wanted. And then I'm going to make some zigzaggy lines like this. 
All right, now we have got him all drawn. Now's the fun part. Now we get to color him in. At least it's the fun part for me. I am going to start out with, hmm, I think I'll start out with some light pink, and I'm going to go ahead and just put his cheeks in there so I don't forget. All righty, beautiful. And then we're going to go ahead, and I'm going to give him the green. I'm going to go ahead and make his stem green. And then I might even go ahead and make his arms green. They'll be almost like more, more green, more stems that are growing. So that means his fingers will be green too. And then over here. Oh my gosh, I got so outside of the line there. Ah, well, you get the idea. All right, and you know what? While I've got my green out, I'm going to add some green on here. Sometimes it's easier to use all the color you want when you have it in your hand and then other times you think nah, you go back and go no nah, I kind of like it with something else on there all right um let's see you know what I'm gonna go back to my marker for a minute I'm gonna color his eyebrows in because I want them to show up so before I do him red I'll do his eyebrows all right so I already mentioned the red so that's what we're gonna go do next I'm gonna do all red I'm going to try to stay in the lines. I'm going to try not to color over too much of my, my other things, like my eyes and my eyebrows, so they'll show up. And I want to be careful around his cheeks. Oh. Now, do you, have you ever eaten chili peppers? I can't eat a chili pepper all by itself. Some people can. Some people love it. But I cannot. I have to have it if it's in salsa or something. I love salsa and chips. One of my favorite things. Love, love, love it. But I can't eat a chili pepper all by itself. All righty. I'm almost got them. I've almost got them colored. Stay with me here. Don't lose interest. Oh my gosh, I love them. Now, while I've got the red out, I should start thinking about my little instrument there, my maracas, and see if I want to do anything on there red. Maybe a couple of those, hmm, maybe the stripe on the top will do red. All right, uh, maybe I will. Maybe while I've got it out, I'm gonna color it red on the top. Now you have, you can use your whole crayon box on these. You can do whatever you want to to make them bright and colorful. All righty, always oh, looking cute. Now let's see, let's do maybe some purple in here. Ooh, I like purple. Purple's a nice bright color. I'm gonna do the bottom of those purple. Maybe I'll do the top of these ones purple. They don't have to match. They can be different. You can have two completely different instruments there if you want. And let's go ahead and get some orange in here. A little orange in there and a little orange in here. I'm loving it. Now, maybe, 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 I'm trying to think what I want to do here. Maybe I will use brown. The bottom of it, these are going to be made out of wood. So I'm going to use the bottom of his maracas are going to be brown. Wow, I love them. Now, because you know me, you should know me by now at day 52, that I don't want to just draw this. So I'm going to use my yellow. I'm going to do a nice, bright yellow background because it is going to be a party. I'm going to scribble this in here just so you get the idea. So you don't have to sit here and watch me do the whole darn thing. But doesn't that liven it up to make it yellow? It really looks like a party then. And the 5th of May, Cinco de Mayo, is a party. Oh my gosh, I'm running out of my yellow here. Oh, there we go. All right, well, that wasn't very good coloring, but you get the idea. So... Happy Cinco de Mayo, everyone, and we'll see you tomorrow. Do what I tell you every day. I want you to be safe. I want you to wash your hands. I want you to listen to your parents. <gasps> he stopped singing. And I want you to be creative. And I want you to be kind to each other. We'll see you tomorrow, everybody. Thanks for joining me every day. I appreciate it. Bye-bye now.